Hello and welcome to Aditya classes. Today we'll talk about traveling salesman problem. Now what is unique to traveling salesman problem is that we have distances from city A to B, C, D, E. We have distances from B to A, C, D, E and so on. Now you need to prepare a route for the salesman which will minimize the total distance or cost, whatever it, this information is. If it is distance, it will try to minimize that distance. It is, if it is cost of moving from one city to another, it will try to minimize the total cost of a trip. Now the salesman needs to visit all the five cities, A, B, C, D and E. He can pick his own route. He could pick a route like A, E, B, D, C. He could pick a route A, C, B, D, E. Whatever route he picks, cost should be minimized, distance should be minimized. So this is traveling salesman problem. Now unique to this is that we have A, B, C, D, E, sources are also A, B, C, D, E, destinations are also A, B, C, D, E. This is unique as compared to the other assignment problems. There we used to have sources as factories, destinations were markets. Here we have A, B, C, D, E as sources. From A, he can go to C. A, he can go to E. If he goes from A to E, it costs him 5 rupees. If he goes from D to B, it costs him 6 rupees. If he comes back from B to D, it might cost to him 7 rupees, maybe depending on timing, maybe depending on different buses. So this is the idea. You need to prepare a trip so that he can touch all five cities at minimum cost. Now, first thing, as in all assignment problems, we have to go for a row reduction and column reduction. Then the steps will be different. So we'll jot down all the steps, all different steps over here. But first of all, let us go for a row reduction and column reduction. So our first step would be row reduction. Now row reduction is not a compulsion. You can go for column reduction followed by row reduction. So it doesn't really make that much of a difference if you are going for row reduction first or a column reduction because in previous lectures we have seen that this is an iterative process. Even if we make a wrong choice in present iteration, it will get rectified in next iteration. So we have cities A, B, C, D and E. Then we have cities A, B, C, D and E. When we talk of traveling salesman, in a way, it is a special case of assignment and in a way, it is a bit like with prohibited routes, assignments with prohibited routes. Like in previous lecture, we saw certain routes were prohibited. For example, planes could not land in villages. For example, trains could not go to hill stations. So those were prohibited routes. Here also there are prohibited routes. What are the prohibited routes? A salesman is not allowed to travel from A to A. Because if he travels from A to A, how will he go to B, C, D and E? He has completed his trip. His first city was A. His last city is A. He has completed a complete trip. He is not allowed to go from C to C. So these are prohibited routes. These are blocked routes. We can see last time we were making use of dashes. This time we are making use of infinites. Now let us go for row reduction. If we go for row reduction, what do we have? Minimum is 2. So it will be infinite minus 2 is, in any case infinite, so we have a 0, 2, 6 and 3. Here minimum is again a 2, so we get 1, infinite, 5, 6 and 1, uh, 5, 6 and 0, sorry. Okay, it was 2, sorry, sorry, sorry. This was 2, so this will be 4, 5 and 0. So we have 1, 4, 5 and 0. These are prohibited routes, infinites, these will not change either ways. 3 is minimum, so we get a 6, 5, 0 and 2. 2 is minimum, so we get a 0, 4, 6 and 3. 3 is minimum, so I get 0, 4, 6 and 8. Now my table is row reduced. My first step is, uh, let me call it T1, this becomes T2 and the step is row reduction, we will summarize the steps over here also. 
step one row reduction step two column reduction so let us go for column reductions One, two, C, D, and E. A, B, C, D, and E. A, B, C, D, and E. Then we have A, B, C, D, and E. Self roots are always blocked. even if you go for subtraction they'll be blocked only first column already has a zero so if you subtract zero from all it will be 1 6 0 and 0 then we have a minimum of zero this is also column reduced we have a zero 5 4 and 4 here we have a 2 so we can reduce it further subtract 2 from all to get zero 2 4 and 4 this is column reduced remaining both columns are column reduced 6 5 0 and 8 last one is 3 0 2 3 3 0 2 and 3 so this is column reduction this is row reduction this becomes my t3 with column reduction now we can start with our assignment step 3 is find penalty for each zero penalty is equal to minimum in row plus minimum in column we need to find out penalties for each of the zeros and what is a penalty penalty is minimum in its row and column so if i take this zero i pick this zero i select this zero minimum apart from this zero in its row is zero minimum in its row plus minimum in its column penalty for this zero would be minimum in its row that is 0 and minimum in its column that is 4 so penalty would be 0 plus 4 so this zero gets a penalty of 4 this is how we find out penalty we need to find out penalties for all zeros this zero would be if i take this zero the minimum in its row becomes 0 while minimum in its column becomes 2 so penalty for this zero is 2 you can pause you can try to find out penalties for all these zeros if you have understood the concept or you can see one or two more zeros and then find out rest of penalties yourself so it could be a very good practice penalties for this zero minimum in its row minimum in its row is 1 and minimum in its column is 2 1 plus 2 would be a 3 minimum in this zeros row is 2 column is 5 2 plus 5 is 7 minimum in its row is 3 3 plus yes for this zero if we see minimum in its row is 3 but in its column is 0 so 0 plus 3 giving me a 3 for this zero minimum in its column is 0 plus 4 all zeros covered we have covered all zeros so first step was row reduction column reduction as it is always step 3 is find penalty for each zero step 4 is assign the zero with maximum penalty as we used to do in 
transportation also because the maximum penalty should be avoided what is maximum penalty this is the maximum penalty that a zero will face if something goes wrong so we'll not let anything go wrong we'll assign theirs first so maximum penalty is seven so this becomes my assignment this becomes my assignment what is my assignment c to d c to d now it has been decided whenever that salesman lands in city c he is always going to d nowhere else from c he is always going to d now step 5 would be this is a very important step which students generally miss out step 5 is block the reverse route so whenever an assignment is made what i do is i remove c i remove d because from c to d is off c to d is already assigned now there is no chance of going from c to d and block the reverse route c to d has been assigned i'll be blocking d to c how let us see for now a good thing in traveling salesman as compared to assignment is that the matrix keeps on reducing now my matrix would not be 5 by 5 rather it will be 4 by 4 only because c is gone d is gone i am left with a b d e a b b e a b c e a b c e this is good thing in traveling salesman that the matrix keep on reducing keeps on reducing t3 t4 now first thing step 5 block the reverse route c to d has been traveled block d to c if it is there if it is removed no issues but if it is there block it d to c d to c block it why are we blocking it because if i get an optimum solution of d to c what will happen salesman will go from c to d and from d he'll come back to c I do not want him to come back from D to C. Hence, I am blocking it. This is what we mean by restrictions. That if you have traveled from C to D, D to C is not allowed. Otherwise, you will come back home in two cities. I want you to visit all five cities. So, if C to D is assigned, which is best? Which is best in complete scenario? So, C to D is assigned. D to C is blocked. Block the reverse route. Reverse of C D is D C d c it is blocked we have blocked the reverse route and of course self route should also be blocked do we have self routes yes a to a is a self route b to b is a self route d to d is cut e to e is a self route we have blocked all self routes let me copy all remaining values what do we have we have a 0 0 3 0 0 3 then we have a 1 2 0 1, 2, 0. Then there is a 0, 4, 4, 3. 0, 4. This 4 has been blocked. 0, 4 is D to B. D to C was 4, but I have blocked it. And D to E would be 3. 0, 4, 4. 0, 4, 4. So this is my T4. Step 5 would be, uh, step 6 would be, repeat, step 3, until all assignments are made. Repeat step 3 until all assignments are made. What is step 3? Find penalty for each 0. Let me go ahead and find penalty for each 0. Penalty for first 0 would be minimum in its row. Minimum in its row is 0. Minimum in its column is 4. Minimum in its row is 0. Minimum in its column is 2. Minimum in its row is 1 and 3. Minimum in its row is 3 
एंड हियर वी है जीरो फॉर दिस जीरो मिनिमम मिनट्स कॉलम इज जीरो मिनिमम मिनट्स रो इज थ्री सो पेनल्टी ऑफ थ्री फॉर दिस मिनिमम मिनट्स रो इज फोर बट इन कॉलम देर इज अ जीरो सो जीरो प्लस फोर वुड बी फोर सो आई हैव अ फ्यू फोर पेनल्टीज देन देर इज अ थ्री एंड अ टू फाइंड पेनल्टी फॉर ई जीरो पेनल्टी इज इक्वल टू मिनिमम मिनट्स रो प्लस मिनिमम मिनट्स कॉलम स्टेप फोर इज असाइन द जीरो विद मैक्सिमम पेनल्टी देर आर three cases where i have a maximum penalty you know you can go ahead and assign any of these which one do we want let us say we take this one if we take this one b is gone e is gone and what is this root this root is b to e block the reverse root T1, T2, T3, T4. Now let me go ahead and make T5. T5 will be further reduced from four by four. It will come down to three by three. A, D, E, A, B, C. A, D, E, A, B, C. B to E is assigned. So block the reverse root E to B. e to b block yes it might be possible that it gets reduced because we are reducing the matrix if it gets reduced no issues but if it is still exists e to b then we will have to block it we have blocked block reverse root repeat step 3 to 3 uh, until all assignments are made so i have blocked it let me copy it to new matrix so that i can solve it self roots a to a d to d is gone e to e is gone remaining is 0 0 then we have a 0 4 infinite 0 4 infinite then we have a 0 4 4 0 this 4 has been converted to infinite e to b because b to e is assigned so e to b that is this cell has been made infinite e to c would be 4 this is my table 5 table 5 Find penalty for each zero. Penalty for this zero would be minimum in its row zero plus four. Zero plus four. Four plus zero. Four plus zero. All penalties are four. You can pick either. Which one? Let us say we pick this one. What is this? This is E to A. now if this is assigned e is out of further calculation a is out of further calculation i am left with sorry this color will create confusion <clears throat> i am left with ad and bc a d and b c e a is assigned so block ae ae is already reduced so no need to block it block self roots a a is gone d d is gone so no blocking is required from my side i'll just copy if i copy it i get 0 0 4 infinite find penalties for all penalty for this would be minimum minutes row is 0 minimum minutes column is 4 penalty would be 4 what about this minimum minutes row is 0 minimum minutes column is infinite infinite plus 0 would be infinite find penalty for each zero assign the zero with maximum penalty this is maximum penalty so i'll go ahead and assign this this is my table 6 and what is the root that i have assigned a to c ah sorry the root assigned is a to c a to c now everything is reduced i am left with only one cell which is d to b with the value of 4 now the rule is that an assignment is always made in 4 uh, always made in 0 but this time there is no other option whenever you come down to a situation when there is no other option up there are no zeros left because in traveling salesman it might so happen that all zeros get cut 
because we are removing rows and columns. It might so happen that all zeros are removed. If it so happens that all zeros are removed, then what you can do is at that stage, you can again row reduce and column reduce. If all zeros are removed, so long as there is even a single zero, you will assign that using our rule of maximum penalty. We had two zeros I assigned using my rule of maximum penalty. But when all zeros are gone, you can go for row reduction and column reduction at that stage. Now we have only this situation. This is T7. If I try to row reduce or column reduce it, what will happen? I'll get minimum in its row should be subtracted. I'll get 0. And this 0, the only 0, it gets assigned. This is my table 8. This is basically a row reduction, column reduction of my previous table because all my zeros have finished. And what is this root? D to B. D to B. Now, I have reduced my complete traveling salesman problem. Now, you can give me any root. Now, in this problem, my root would be, my root suggested to the salesman would be from A, he should go to C. From C, he should go to D. From D, he is expected to go for, for B. From B, he is expected to go to E. And from E, he is expected to go to A. This completes my loop. This is traveling salesman route. A to C, D, B, E and back home to A. This completes my loop. Yes, in question, it might so happen that the, they say that Native place of salesman is city E. Now, if native place of salesman is city E, then definitely he'll start his journey from E. He has to start his journey from E. If he starts his journey from E, he is suggested to go to A. From A, he is suggested to move to C. From C, he should go to D from D to B and from B back to E. You can see from wherever we start our journey, we come back home. If nothing is mentioned like this, native place or the salesman is posted at some particular city, if nothing is given, we we'll start our journey at A, wherever we have A, we have A. From A to C, from C to D, from D to B, from B to E and from E to A. If nothing is given, we'll start our journey at A. And if something is mentioned that native place of salesman is this or the salesman is posted in this territory, then we'll start our journey from there. For example, here we started our journey from E. Look at the journey. In either case, he's going, he's following this path, A, C, D, B, E, A, C, D, B, E. Either ways, the path will remain same. It's only a matter of where is he starting his journey? So this was traveling salesman. Do take care if all your zeros are exhausted. We'll go for row reduction and column reduction at that stage. All zeros could have been exhausted at this stage. We would have row reduced, column reduced it. But in our case, we had two zeros, so we proceeded. So there is nothing to worry. Whenever all zeros get exhausted, it might so happen because we are reducing it. Because we are removing rows and columns. If it so happens, row reduce, column reduce. And if there is any problem in traveling salesman where you are facing any kind of confusion, any kind of doubt, then you can leave it in comment. We can talk over it. We can solve it over here. So this was it about traveling salesman. Next time when we meet, we'll take up some new topic. Until we meet next time, do take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.